What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Oculus Rift and how PlayStation VR is going to beat it. Now, some news just came out about this. It's really amazing to me. Uh, Oculus Rift just announced its price for retail in 2016. They want $600 for this hardware. Now, $600, that is a very high premium. It's just one that I don't think a lot of people are going to be willing to pay right now. Now, I'm sure that there's a nice percentage of gamers out there who are really, really at for this thing and really want it and are willing to pay $600. Myself, I don't know if I'm willing to pay that much money. Probably won't be buying it immediately unless I see a huge price drop in the first few months. Anyway, I feel like this is a, one of those situations where you're watching a video of a car accident in slow motion and you know everything's about to get really bad, but you got to watch each frame. This reminds me of that situation because if you ask me, Oculus just did the same thing that Microsoft did at E3 2013 when they announced the Xbox One. They priced this thing so ridiculously high that I don't think anybody is going to be amped to buy this on day one. Now, the thing that we all got to consider here is VR is coming from so many different directions. You got the HoloLens, which is augmented reality. We got PlayStation VR. We got Oculus. Even phones are doing it. So everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. So this is $600, and you know that other things are coming really soon. Like PlayStation VR is coming this year. If you know that that's coming this year, and you know that price is not going to be nowhere near $600, a lot of people are probably going to wait for PlayStation VR. Now, for the PC guys out there who are really amped for this on PC and you want to spend $600 to play this on your PC, that's not the only issue with getting it on PC. Now, there are some caveats, some things that you actually have to have in order for your Oculus Rift to work on your PC. Your graphics card needs to be NVIDIA GTX 970 or greater or AMD R9 920 or greater. All right, the processor needs to be at least an Intel i5-4590. The memory needs to be 8 gigs of RAM or greater. Now get this, this is the one thing that's really going to trip people out. You have to have at least four available USB ports for this thing. Three of them have to be USB 3.0 and one needs to be 2.0. And your operating system has to be at least Windows 7 64-bit. So there's a lot of stuff that you actually need in order to, to get this thing to run properly. The graphics cards alone, 250 to $300. You're going to have to invest a lot of money just to get the Oculus Rift to do what it's supposed to do. Not only that, after you invest all this money, what is going to be available for the Oculus Rift? We don't know yet. That's one thing. You don't know what you're going to get. So that price is really, really a bad thing. Now, the reason I say the PlayStation uh, VR is going to beat this is because, for one, PlayStation VR is for games only. Oculus is going to be other things. PlayStation VR is going to come to a system. It's going to be a plug-and-play type of situation. You don't have to update your PS4. You're not going to have to install new hardware. You're going to just plug it in, and it works. That's a, a huge get for Sony. Also, PlayStation VR is not going to cost more than the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 is 349 bucks. so I'm thinking, and I'm, I'm telling you, everybody's thinking the same thing, that PlayStation VR is going to be around $299. 300 bucks. Okay, that's a lot of money for a lot of people. You pay that once, bam, that's all you got to do. You don't have to update graphics cards, memory, none of that stuff even matters. You just plug it into your PS4 and you're good to go. Now, the reason I think the PlayStation VR has a really good chance to kind of come in and pull the rug from under Oculus is that the PlayStation VR is not going to cost more than the actual PlayStation 4. PS4 is $349. I'm thinking that the P PSVR is going to be around $299. You probably won't spend more than $300. On top of that... PlayStation VR is for games, all right? With Oculus VR, of course, there's going to be games, but there's going to be applications and all kinds of other things that you can do with Oculus Rift. And so without knowing what you're going to get, I don't know if that $600 is going to be worth it right off the bat. PlayStation VR, you just take it out of the box, plug it into your PS4, you're good to go. There's no updating any operating systems. There's going to be no installation of new RAM, no video cards, nothing like that. PlayStation VR is kind of a plug-and-play situation. I think the PS4 is going to pull all that money from the people who are super amped about Oculus Rift until the price was revealed today. Price is so high that there's like, I would say probably less than 5% of, of hardcore gamers are going to be able to buy that day one. I mean, that's literally like a rent payment or a huge car note. You know, that's a lot of money, man. And if you don't have 600 bucks to spend on it, not only the $600 to spend on it, but the money you got to put into your PC to get this thing to run properly, it's kind of crazy. I think Oculus just pulled a Microsoft 
and they probably screwed themselves. I'm sure that the PlayStation team just watched this and they're like, holy crap. We're going to do the same thing here that we did at E3. We're going to come out. We're going to announce this thing at half the price of what they're asking for. And we're going to take all that revenue. The only thing is, I'm wondering if VR is going to be as big as a hit as I hope it is. I think that VR is definitely the future. It's something we've all been wanting for a long time. And I'm super amped for it. But I can't, I just, I, I can't really support the idea of buying a VR headset at this point with no known games, no known applications for $600. And on top of that, you got to dump more money into your PC. To me, that's a little crazy. I would much rather get a VR headset that plugs right into my game console. No uh, add-ons, none of that stuff works straight out of the box for half the price. You guys let me know what you think. Do you think the PlayStation VR has what it takes to take down Oculus Rift? Now that we know exactly what Oculus Rift is doing as far as the price, $600, that's a lot of money you let me know in the comment section are you willing to pay six hundred dollars for oculus rift and do you have a pc that's good enough to play it straight out of the box let me know in the comment section be sure to give a thumbs up if you like the video and definitely subscribe i'm the beastly gamer and i'll see you guys next time